Let me show you guys what we're going to be doing today. Uh, today's really just about plumbing and trying to figure out what we're going to be uh, putting in the car and what's going to be in the way, not in the way, and all that good stuff. The best thing to do is always kind of get everything um, situated when it comes down to your engine bay and trying to get everything in place slash mock-up to see what's going to be in the way, what's not, before you do any of the electrical stuff. Damn, Gina. Yeah, buddy. See? See what you guys miss when you guys don't go to LS Fest? Yes, sir. Look at this thing. This thing looks so freaking sexy up in here. Yeah, man. So we ended up, you can see, we got the body back on the frame. Last time you guys saw us on the channel, we didn't even have that yet. We were just like cranking, cranking all week, man. But we did end up getting the body back on the frame. Motor's sitting here real pretty like. This was sitting at LS Fest just... uh just more to show you guys the progress on it and everything else like that but you guys can see everything looks pretty good even the, the power steering pump i was a little nervous down here but looks like we're gonna be okay we just gotta put our fittings on make a couple lines and we should be good there that's probably gonna be the easiest plumbing believe it or not um, because we have to plumb obviously the radiator we have to plumb uh, ac lines we have to plumb uh the supercharger that's another thing that's, I mean, obviously we already got the heat exchanger up here ready to go. You guys remember the video on that. But to match that heat exchanger, we got the matching PWR CNR cooling technology, baby. This is the new Rad Guys with fans, everything ready to go. I'm gonna open, let me, let's matter of fact, let's open this thing up. Bam, there it is, y'all. Look at this thing. <laughs> this thing's a beast, you guys. This thing was was a little bit heavy i'm not gonna lie to you guys this thing has some weight like you can just feel the quality as soon as you pick this thing up this thing is a monster obviously we got the ls style because we got the radiator hoses on one on this side on the passenger side that's the biggest um thing to keep in mind you guys is when you guys are doing these swaps where are your radiator hoses going and if you get the proper one they always go on the passenger side for an ls swap now this is a dual pass radiator as well that means your coolant actually runs through it twice before it gets back to your motor and it cools that much better you always want to get a dual pass if you can but if you ask me guys if you guys are going to be doing some like crazy racing or any kind of performance uh you always want to go with these guys here these guys are they're, they're not cheap by any means but they are the best out there when it comes to performance looks small fans of course um i don't remember the exact cfm but they're up there they're definitely up there with the cfm i'd have to look it up for you guys i'll try to put down uh the link to this particular one in the description below if you guys are interested um but like i said these ones run about god what did this cost again i want to say it's like 13 to 1500 dollars. i don't remember um don't quote me on that because prices change all the freaking time but like i said i will put down in the description below if you guys are interested also came with this little uh shroud as well kind of a mount we'll see if we use that i'm not sure if we'll use it but we'll definitely use it for mock-up purposes uh let's go ahead and throw this thing in real quick zia dude what are you doing over here bro huh Okay, you guys, this is actually the Bosch pump for the supercharger, and this is the coolant reservoir for it. Now, this is actually comes in part of the kit if, with the blueprint package. If you guys buy the blueprint package, if not, you know, it'll probably come with the blower if you guys end up buying a blower from Magnuson or something like that. If not, you guys are going to have to find your own um, reservoir and obviously pump. But it also comes with the wiring for the pump because you're going to need to uh some way to have that thing running got a nice little relay package but don't like the loom we're gonna dress that up a bit change it up do our thing to it but before i get carried away with this stuff i'm gonna end up putting up this uh this wheel well back in place real quick 
between that and like maybe the battery tray because like we're gonna keep the battery up front for this project we're gonna keep it up front and we want to have as much stuff as possible in place before we start finding a home for this stuff because you start doing that and guess what oh man that's in the way now or where am i supposed to put the battery at or oh, i didn't realize that was gonna fit because the wheel well is there so we don't want to do that so let me go ahead and throw that wheel on real quick and that way we have kind of an idea on where everything's gonna land all right guys we are back it is a few days later probably probably about a week actually from now we've been working on that pump i want to show you guys what i got here man this thing is so freaking cool look at that you see that i can't take credit for this one uh, a buddy of mine helped me really design this thing and he even 3d printed it for us because we needed something for that pump we were kind of playing around with some ideas and stuff like that um he is also showing me how to use the program so i did make up a bracket my own for the reservoir now it has taken some trial and error like i said it's definitely been one of those projects where we really had to uh, sit back and see how we can make this thing work so i'm gonna end up having this thing live all up in here you guys i don't know if you guys can see i know how much lighting is back here but it's gonna live in there long story short let me put it on the pump so you can kind of see what i'm talking about and then you have a better idea this also has some mounting holes in there you guys can see them in there so we end up having a bolt that goes through here just like that i gotta go get another one because i only have one but it'll go in there sit flush in there and then stick out the other side like that and that'll bolt to our inner fender so let me get the pump. The pump will slide right through that guy. Just like that, you guys. Check it out. See, obviously, you'll have your bolt before you put the pump in. But I got to go get another one. I don't have another bolt that size. So it'll literally be just like that. I mean, how freaking cool is that? Like I said, it's got the shape of the inner fender well. And then you can plug it in up top. You don't have to worry about the not being able to get to the wires. But And then this guy will live i already made a few holes up here for the bolts and for the actual hose i'm gonna show you guys now i can see let me put this down real quick i can't do this with one hand now that's how it'll basically live underneath that fender well you guys can see it'll mount and it takes kind of that form of that inner fender well and then see the hole down there that's where our hose will come in from the supercharger heat exchanger and then you got the line that comes out of there and it'll follow in line with these hoses and back to the supercharger how freaking cool is that i really like this idea guys i'm really happy the way this is going to turn out um i do got a man i'm going to paint this thing a little bit i think we're going to paint it up a little bit but that's going to live underneath there like i said we can take our plug because you have a relay that'll go to the top of this pump that'll basically trigger it on and off and then uh we'll plumb that i should say wire that up and then we'll have the holes like i said from there from the lower hose of the heat exchanger and then this guy will go back up to the supercharger so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this thing back off and paint it up find another bolt get it bolted in get it plumbed in then i'll show you guys what it looks like